This week on Rush Outdoors, we're chasing elk in the wild, wild west. We'll explore some interesting tidbits with Tori's topics. And of course, member footage with Rush Uncut. Awesome New York rock. Oh, oh. We're taking a great buck back to New York. Got a really nice buck. Craziness. He's down. What a buck. He's a really good buck. Oh my god. Rush Outdoors is brought to you by Runnings, your home farm and outdoor store. Closed captioning for Rush Outdoors is brought to you by the Wayne County Department of Tourism. Look them up online at waynecountytourism.com. Everybody, welcome to Rush Outdoors. I'm Realtree Pro Staff for Tim Andrus. Today I'm in Lockport, New York, Running's largest store out of all their stores. Turkey season just ended. It's now food plot season. Gonna do a little shopping, grab some supplies. Time to get out there. Quite a selection here. Well, I'm trying to figure out what I want to plant. Let's join Pro State for John Lennox. He's in Montana again, loves that elk hunting. Let's see how he does. You know, the story of my 2018 Montana elk hunt really started back in 2016. And that was the year that I drew my first Montana elk tag. Now, I've been hunting in Montana with Keith and Steve Miller of Montana Whitetail since the early 2000s. And in that time, really, my focus had been on whitetail and mule deer. But over time, I've watched them grow their camp and acquiring new properties. And a lot of these properties held elk. So I'd be coming back from a deer hunt and we'd be seeing these guys bring in elk. And I knew that it was just gonna be a matter of time before I started applying and got out here to chase these big critters. Well, September 2016 rolled around and my anticipation was through the roof. We got into camp, and, and I gotta tell you something about the lodge here at Montana Whitetails in Livingston, Montana. This place, when you see it, it absolutely just screams Montana. Log cabin, uh, vaulted ceilings on the inside with all kinds of elk and whitetail, mule deer, pronghorn mounted on the walls. It provides you with every creature comfort you could imagine, from uh, private bathrooms, private bedrooms, and the meals, the meals are out of this world. I don't care if you're doing a spot and stalk elk hunt, you are going to put weight on when you're here with Montana Whitetails. So the hunt rolls around, we get into camp, we get all set up, get the bow shot because you never can trust the airlines to be nice to your archery equipment. Everything was spot on and all that was left to do was get out and hunt. And we got into this stand, we could hear elk bugling like crazy and it wasn't long before a herd moved into this little sliver of woods and I had a bullet 70 yards which was my self-imposed limit on a, a distance for a shot. And just as I came to full draw, that elk turned and disappeared from my life forever. Well, and that really was the end of my 2016 Montana archery elk hunt. I went into it with such great anticipation. I made the right choice on the people to hunt with. It just didn't happen. These are wild, free-ranging critters with minds of their own. They're gonna do what they want. They're gonna do it when they wanna do it. And there's nothing you can do to change their minds. So as 2017 progressed into 2018, I, you know, I, I talked to my wife about it and, and she agreed, you know, this is something that you really want to do. Apply for the tag and see if you can make it happen. And, and I did, and sure enough, I drew a tag and I was heading back to Livingston, Montana to hunt elk with Montana whitetails. Incredible selection at competitive prices. Check us out. 
Located in the lush farmlands of western New York, Orleans County offers some of the very best fly fishing opportunities in the country. From golden brown trout and acrobatic steelhead to powerful Chinook, Coho, and Atlantic salmon, fishing prospects abound in the fall and winter. Whether you fish Oak Orchard or one of our other tributaries, you'll find uncrowded weightable waters to net one of these great species. Why not come and drop a line to our finny friends and see how fall fishing in Orleans County swims with color. I love New York. I'm Ashley Martin. Welcome to Martin's Marina. Come on in, I'll show you around. We're one of Lund's top dealers in the Northeast. We also have a wide variety of Avalon pontoon boats, all equipped with Mercury motors. We pride ourselves on our service. All of our technicians are Mercury certified. Pick from our selection of Shoremaster docks and a full line of accessories to complement your dock, as well as boat hoists. But that's not all. Here at Martin's, we have all your boating needs, from dockage, self-service gas, inside storage, and winterization. So come on down to Martin's Marina in beautiful Cape Vincent, New York. Nestled in the heart of St. Lawrence County, Black Lake is one of New York's most pristine family vacation destinations. This one-of-a-kind body of water offers fishing for the entire family. And when you get off the water, there are numerous shops and museums, along with a local winery featuring live music throughout the summer. The world-renowned St. Lawrence River is only 20 miles away, offering boat tours of the Thousand Islands and its many historic castles and lighthouses. For more information, on campgrounds, cottages, and entertainment, you can look online at blacklakeny.com. Rush Outdoors is also brought to you by Orleans County, the New York Sportsman's Expo, PSE Archery, CBA, Scentlock, Nocturnal Lighted Knox, Block Targets, IQ Bow Sights, True Fire Releases, the Black Lake Chamber of Commerce, North Country Troopers Assisting Troops, Steel, Voss Signs, and these fine sponsors. Let's fire away our first set of the year. Front living step Montana with Montana Whitetails. Brad Meyer, this is a set that we uh, have a little history with. We sat this uh, for two afternoons the last time we were out coming here and actually had an encounter with a herd. We got uh, stalked by a mountain lion and had a couple black bear come through. So they got us in here the first morning. They saw a herd of mountain coming through last night. So we'll keep this short. We got in there that first day, we heard bulls bugling, but nothing quite came close. So we ended that first day uh, kind of like we ended 2016. A little bit of excitement, but nothing to show for it in terms of an elk on the ground. The morning of day two rolls around and Steve says, do you want to go right back to that stand? And I said, absolutely. I think if we sit that stand all week, it's eventually going to pay off. And uh, that second morning, we're walking into the stand. It's probably a three, 400 yard walk. And in the, in the pitch black, the bulls are just screaming their heads off. There's three different groups, four different bulls bugling. And I'm here to tell you right now that the hair on the back of your neck is gonna stand up. It's the most unbelievable sound I've ever heard. And it's absolutely addicting. We can hear these bulls screaming and they're getting closer and closer and closer. And the only thing I can think of in the back of my mind is, guys, slow down. Do not push these cows in here before we have good camera light.
know me are gonna have a hard time hearing me say this, but I, I don't know what to say right now. I'm, I'm at a loss for words. I follow along this edge, and weight ranged about 50 yards. It was slightly quartering towards me, which is not the optimum scenario, but it wasn't bad. I, uh, I shot him for 50 yards, and he ducked it a little bit, and I still think he might have gotten high along. Rush Outdoors is also brought to you by Martin's Marina, Dry Shod Boots, Muzzy Broadheads, Glendale 3D Targets, Millennium Tree Stands, Carbon Express Arrows, QAD Arrow Rests, Hunter Safety Systems, The Whitetail Institute of North America, Covert Scouting Cameras, the Resort at Snug Harbor, Briars Riverside Market, and these fine sponsors. So we called Keith and Steve Miller and they met us out there and we reviewed it with them talked about the different events that took place, what we saw after the hit. Keith really made the right call. He said, you know, let's back out. Let's get out of here, give them four or five hours, we'll go back in. You know, I know we were only gonna wait four or five hours, but it felt like an eternity. Uh, we put the footage up on the TV and had the elk guides that were at camp review it. They all agreed with Brad. They said, John, don't overthink it. You got it into a lung, you possibly got it into two lungs. As it's running away, that muzzy, it's gonna do its work, and you're gonna find that elk. Consensus is that we've probably got a dead bull in our hands, so uh, we're going back in there now to find him. And uh, again, I, I'm just still without words. It's just an incredible feeling, but I want to get in there. Uh, we've got Steve Miller with us, and I've been hunting with Steve now for 14, 15 years, and uh, there's no better guy that I'd like to have with us uh, going to find this bull. So let's see if we can get our hands on him, and uh, we can do a little bit of celebrating tonight.
Dad, we did it. What? I said we did it. We did what? We killed an elk. Milk. An elk. E L K. Wait, we, did you really? No, you and I did. We got it. How come you and I? Because without you, none of this would have happened. Why? What do you mean? Hunting, bud. Hunting. I've wanted yeah. to do this since I was how old? So, That's great. Yeah. Yeah, I can't That's believe fantastic. it. So wow. I'll, I'll send you pictures later. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, Dad. I'll talk to you later. Okay, Tom. Thanks for calling. All right. Love you. Love you too, buddy. Bye-bye. I'll tell you, that's... You know, the term hero gets thrown around way too loosely anymore. <laughs> Most people never get to meet their hero, and I'm one of the lucky ones because... I grew up with him. My dad's probably the toughest F SOB I know. And uh, you know what? I got to hunt with him, I got to fish with him. Got to tell him I love him, got to hear it back. That's a hero. And without him, that bull wouldn't be dead right now. So I wanted to make that call before I laid my hands on him. Let's go see him. one we saw yesterday evening working his way down through here. Was it? Maybe he was by himself, but he left a, a herd up there and came down. There's been several different groups broken up now. He must have came down and joined this group down here and it all worked out. You ain't kidding me, dude. <laughs> I had him at 70 yards and then uh, when he came in at 50 yards, he turned broadside. And I put a shot on him. We got an elk. Brad Wilcox, the guy that you never see is the guy behind the camera, but without him, we don't capture this. Thank you, Brad. This is the second year Brad's come out and filmed me, and it's a thankless job, and I can't thank him enough. The elk's on the ground, the pictures have been taken, the adrenaline is starting to go away, I'm starting to get a little rubber legs, and uh, then it becomes the process of getting this big boy out of the woods. And I'm here to tell you, guys at Montana Whitetails, they got it figured out. And uh, we get that elk rolled into the sled and get it out of the woods and, and onto the butcher and the taxidermist. And my 2018 Montana elk hunt is complete. Probably the most exhilarating and exciting experience of my hunting career. I'm addicted. Uh, hunting elk and hearing them bugle is one of the most incredible experiences you could imagine. And make no mistake, I'll be doing it again. And I'll be doing it right here with Montana Whitetails. Hey John, congratulations. Not only was it a great hunt, he's got to spend a day in Yellowstone, one of my favorite national parks. Hey everyone, John Lennox with Rush Outdoors and the world of Rush Outdoors. And when I want to keep up with what's going on in the great outdoors in New York State, there's only one source I trust, New York Outdoor News. Now it's time for this week's Covert Corner by the Covert Scouting Cameras. This week we feature a pic sent in by Hercules Oliver of a great looking New York giraffe. Oh, wait a minute, he's from South Africa. Check it out. No matter what continent you're on, that's where you're going to find covert scouting cameras. Tori's Topics is brought to you by Vortex Optics. Hey everyone, Victoria Furchaw here. We're at the running store in Brockport, New York, and it's time for Tori's Topics. Out of state hunting is one of those things that can be tricky, but it's super rewarding if you have the chance to do it. Depending on where you go, there's different rules and regulations that you have to follow. It's important to do the research and find out what they are because they may differ from where you're accustomed to hunting. Gaining access to hunting land can be another challenge that you face, but it can be done. If that's not a possibility, you can always hunt public land. If you're planning on going with an outfitter, it's always a plus to know somebody who's been there before. If not, you can always ask the outfitter for a reference. Another great option is stopping at the Great New York Sportsman's Expo and talking to some of the outfitters there. That's it for this week's Tories Topics, brought to you by Vortex Optics. I'll catch you next week. We soaked a competitor's rubber boot and a dry shod rubber boot to show you why these other boots get heavy when wet and can even rot away at the seam when subjected to farm chemicals. Dry shod boots are treated with hydrocoat, 
that repels water as well as mud, ice, and organic chemicals. As you can see, the neoprene on the competitor's boot is soaked. Meanwhile, the dry shod boot completely sheds the water. Dry shod, the world's most wearable rubber boots. At the Whitetail Institute, there's a lot of things we could talk about, like pioneering the food plot industry, our extensive research, or our customer success and the world and state records we've helped produce. But what we don't talk enough about is our customer service, and like our product line, is by far the best in the business. We have the expertise to help you improve the quality of your deer and your deer hunting. So contact us today. The call and the consultation are free. We look forward to the opportunity to earn your business. The new Block Vault is the most technologically advanced archery target ever built. The four-sided shooting lets you shoot it close, long, precise, and real. Shoot field tips, broadheads, and expandables. Block Vault's high-density open-layered core and polyfusion design stops all high-speed bows and smaller diameter arrows with friction, not force. Block Vault. Get locked in. Before the calm, before the hunt, before the climb, it starts with a passion, and that passion starts at runnings. The best gear and supplies from the most trusted brands in hunting. When you get the shot, will you be ready? Runnings, your home, farm, and outdoor store. Here we go. Anyway. Just harvested my first black bear. He's down. This is what hunting is to us. He is great. Good buck. You saw it here in Rush Outdoors. Hey, welcome to Rush Uncut. I'm Keith Bartholomew. This is Brandon Thomas, and we got Rush Uncut member John Lawrence. That's right. Rush Uncut's the member-driven portion of our show, where you, the viewer, get to see yourself on TV. Up first, we have Rush Uncut member Gordon Wood. Yeah, I've had the pleasure of sharing bear camp with Gordon twice now. Let's take a look at this whitetail footage from the fall. I didn't get a chance to do my morning interview and I actually had deer come out in front of me. I can't believe that I got deer in front of me this year. I was able to take a shot and give it about 15, 20 minutes and I'm gonna wander on up there. So I got one hit. I don't know how good, but there's a lot of blood going right out through there. So I'm gonna go give it a check out and see what it is, okay? All right. My New York doe I just shot, 6'5 Creedmoor. Good friend of mine, Jody, gave this to me, and I, I, I owe him that for giving me a good gun that I know is capable of killing deer. She's a good New York doe. Couldn't be more proud. Thanks, big guy. Thanks, Dad. Oh, so excited right now. All right, Gordon, way to go, man. That was good footage. Yeah, there's nothing better than fresh venison. Congrats on getting it done on film. All right, let's check out this footage from Rush Uncut member, Russ Marsh. Now this is pretty intense footage. It's a deer that he just shot getting attacked by another buck. Now this is 100% wild and just shows you how cruel mother nature can be. Let's check it out.
Russ, thanks for sending that footage in. He filmed that with his cell phone. It goes to show you that you don't need a real expensive camera to get the job done. So who do we have for picture of the week, guys? Yeah, we have Rush on Cup member Dave Gardner from the North Country with a nice muzzleloader buck. If you want to become a member, it's easy. Log on to our website, rushoutdoors.com, and click on the Rush on Cut logo. And don't forget, guys, Rush Outdoors with, with a camera. camera. Rush on Cut is brought to you by Fire Tower Doubles, Doe V Motors, Upstream Construction, Dryden Lawn and Recreation, Iron Skillet Seasonings, The Hunting Buddy App, Four Seasons Archery, Woody's Maple Syrup, Prime Cuts Barbershop, The Rope Guys, O'Brien's Restaurant and Bar, IBEW 43, and IBEW 1249. Well, as usual, Runnings didn't let me down, have everything I need. Also, let's not forget Runnings Great New York Sportsman's Expo, the last weekend in January, New York State Fairgrounds. Check out the website listed below. From everyone at Rush Outdoors, I'm your host Tim Anders, we'll see you in the woods. For live updates, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Favorite food. La 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 la. Okay, we're gonna do that one over. <laughs>